Hey farmers, my name is Stan and I'm the developer of the maps for fs tool. In the previous video I said that maps for fs uses OSM data to add objects to your map. And today I'm going to explain you how you can edit this data properly. But before we jump into it, I need to say a couple of words about the most important part of the maps for fs and it's a texture scanner. It defines all the objects being added from OSM to your map. You will find a detailed explanation in the documentation, but let me highlight most important stuff. The texture schema allows you to customize everything and build unique combinations. The most important key of each texture entry is tags. They are OSM tags and they can be any value that OSM supports. You can check out the documentation of OpenStreetMap. Or even custom ones if you're working with custom OSM. So here you define how objects from OSM will be transferred to your map. To put it simply, you can use the default schema if it suits your needs, or you can customize if you need to adjust something or build your unique map. Okay, so once we understand the concept of texture schema, we can proceed and talk about editing of OSM data. And there are two main approaches how you can edit OSM data for your project. The first one is edit public OSM data right on the website. On the other hand, you can use custom OSM files. While this choice is up to you, I would still recommend using custom OSM files because they will be much faster. For example, uh, from public OSM data, you need to, to spend like one minute to fetch all the data, while from custom OSM file, it will be almost instant. Uh, on custom OSM file, you also can do anything you want and no one will come to change it, erase it or roll back your changes. You don't need any accounts for it, so you just download the software, edit it, and that's it. But uh, on the other hand, you need to, to download and install uh, the application to edit your custom OSM file. Okay, let's now talk about the first approach, the public OSM data. You need to go to the OpenStreetMap website, create an account here, and log in. Then you will find your place you want to edit, you can hit the edit button, and now uh, let's, for example, add a couple of buildings here that are not OSM yet. We will use Polygon tool and then assign a proper tag for it. After we finish our edits, we need to click the Save button, describe the changes you've made, and then click Upload. And that's it. And one important note here. When you generate a map, you should uncheck the use cache settings, otherwise the changes you just made won't be reflected because you will be using the old cache data, so remember to use this option. And now let's talk about the second option, the custom OSM file. The first step you need to do is go to the official Yosem website, download it from here and install. Then we need to launch the software, go to File, New Layer, and then we need to enable satellite images. Okay, now we need to find the place we want to edit and we have two approaches here. Either we create everything from scratch or edit the existing data on OSM. And this choice depends on the quality of OSM data you have in your region. For example, if it more or less looks good and you need just minor changes there, then stick to the existing uh, OSM data. But if everything looks messy and not in place, I would recommend to do it from scratch. Uh, it will save you some time, because uh, in some cases it's really easy to create new shapes instead of trying to edit someone else's mess. Okay, to download the data from OSM servers, we need to go to File, Download Data and draw the region you need. Do not make it too big, otherwise the OSM servers will reject your request or you have too much data in your OSM file that you don't actually need. Now the optional step. We need to remove all the relations. Usually it works without the removing them, but in some cases you might see something like OSM file is broken or corrupted when generating the map, so I would still recommend to remove them. Just go to the relations, select all of them and remove them. Then I would recommend enabling the expert mode in the view section. It will allow you to purge object instead of deleting them. Uh, because if you just delete the object, it's not being removed from the file completely. It's just being marked as for deletion. 
but when you use purge, it's completely removed from the file. Now let's try to remove something. Select an object and just hit the Ctrl, Shift and P hotkey and the object will be completely purged from the file. So now let's add something. We need to select the Draw Notice tool and just draw anything. It can be a polygon or polyline. But when you finish, remember that we need to assign a tag for it that will be reflected in the texture schema as well. So in this example I will add a uh, land use farmland which corresponds to the fields in the default texture schema. But you can use any other tags that you have in your texture schema of course. The last step would be to save the file as usual and whenever you have your file you can use it for map generation. So I would recommend putting the file into the default OSM folder and editing it from here. That way you don't need to select the file each time and can see your changes quickly upon generation. So this is how you can edit OSM data for a map generation. And once again, I would recommend uh, using custom OSM files, but it's up to you. If you like what I'm doing here, you can support the project. I will leave the links to the donation platforms in the description. I also welcome you to join our Discord server and I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and let's create some beautiful maps together. See you later guys, bye bye.